Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and this is Bill and we are here in growing zone 6B in New England and today we're putting the garden to bed and it's kind of breaking my heart. Um, although the goat zoomies are fun. We just cleaned their hutch so they're they're having a good time soiling it all up again <laughs> to make it smell right. Everybody had to get in there and pee. Um, but yeah we're putting the garden to bed. We uh, cleaned out the goat hutch and uh, take a look at this mess. Okay, so the goat bedding is all over the garden now. We were using a deep litter method and it's all full of poop and it's all full of pee and it's got nitrogen and all kinds of great stuff for the garden. So we are gonna spread it out and just let it compost the rest of the way down over the winter time. Um, thank we you. We should be good. We got most of the garden with just one one cleaning. Yeah, this is not bad. This is three months worth of cleanup out of the goat pen. And we got almost all of it. I'm gonna run around like the bat poop fairy in a little bit with a bag of guano and just toss it all over this. We're supposed to get a good rain tonight or tomorrow. So having that, and if I have any worm castings, I'll do that too. But having that wash in through the barn clean out will be great. Look at these girls. Hello, drummer. Hello, piper. We are so bushy and ready for the winter. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It is molt season. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it looks like there was a sixth hen in here, but they didn't like her and they blew her up. This poor bird. But she's getting all her feathers back. I'm so excited for her. So this is Cookie. And hello, pretty baby. Yes. And Cookie had a bad time with Zuzu and lost all her feathers. But look, they're coming back in. This is super gross. They're all coming back in. Beautiful new pin feathers. Yeah. Let's see your head. Yeah, we got new feather action happening there too. So you can see she's, her chest is all multi too. All of them are doing this right now. She's just the most extreme. But all these brand new feathers are coming back in. That's right. You're doing okay, That's sister. Right. That's okay. She did not like being picked up. So most of them, it's just these flight feathers. Song is a mess. Song is a mess. Hi, pretty girl. Um, she's looking. You can see how skinny she's looking. Um, and Betsy back there also same kind of mess. So this is normal. Uh, we've been waiting all this time for Cookie to get the feathers on her back back. Um, so all right, here we go. And among it all, We've still got stuff, stuff that has to go in. Got these beautiful mums the other day. I'm probably gonna put those in in front or maybe we'll just move the pots again. We'll see. I think I'm gonna bring this ginger inside. I have no idea what to do about these asparagus ferns that I grew last year. <sighs> Rosemary, do you hear her screaming? So, over here, this is going to be next year's asparagus bed. And I think down there in the corner, I'm gonna put in some horseradish. So we took down the tomatillos and the okra that were here. I'm gonna leave these sunflowers, lets us feed the birds. And then there's some stuff going on here. So this is one of my favorite growing spaces. You probably remember it as the peanut bucket from last year. And this year I'm doing some other stuff in it. So we have daikon over here. Um, so nice. Be ready soon. I was told I should wait a little longer on these and the tops will turn green. Like this one, this one, there isn't even anything there yet. Um, this one also really little. We've got a really tolerable kind of warm week coming up. So I'm just going to leave these guys in here and we'll check back with them next weekend. My calendulas are doing great. Look at all these buds. I've been harvesting the blooms 
Um, and I'm gonna let some of these remain unharvested. Um, hopefully we'll get some pollinators in here and it will reseed. I have loved growing calendula this year. Uh, look, there's some buds over here too. This lemongrass, I really have to harvest it. I don't know how. The herb patch is pretty much done. Um, Bill's gonna take a weed whacker to it and again, chop and drop. Tobacco is just about ready to harvest over here. You can see these leaves are turning nice and pale. Um, Lib is away this weekend, but when he comes home, I'm gonna have him do some harvesting on those. We have chopped and dropped pretty much everything else. There's the basil, pumpkin, mater. Right now it's simply shavings and redolent with the scent of goat urine. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that's gonna fade out. Smells out. like industry. <laughs> right? <laughs> Country living. So what are we gonna do? What do you wanna do with this next year? You had said you had some plans. I have plans. I like when you have plans. Well, what the, are you thinking? We wanna have the same plots that we can use year after year. I'm gonna do some yeah. built-in raised beds. I love it. Um, probably at the corners because we've got the the the, the sandwich garden <laughs> plot where it's Our two triangles. Um, so I'll probably do raised beds at the corners mm. and then we've been adding just random raised beds here and there so I which think i really like that'll help and then the parts that aren't raised bed i'm gonna put um wood trim railing along where the grass is oh i didn't know about that part so we've okay. got so that way when i come through with the mower and the weed whacker i'm not accidentally taking down azaleas appreciate you I had to try <laughs> just a short one this week I'm looking forward to the seed catalog starting to arrive and ordering for next year. Um, Baker Creek. Baker Creek, a couple of other places, and my gardener. Um, I want to get some stuff from Johnny's Seeds. This year. Anyway, I want to go shopping. Um, but also, I saved a whole bunch of seeds, so we'll definitely have okra. Uh, I saved the seeds from the best looking ones. Uh, we've got marigolds that I saved, beans. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. So we saved a bunch of really good seeds this year. Um, so we'll do a little less shopping than last year. Lie. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Anyway, we'll catch you up soon. Next week, we'll come back and take a look at those daikons. Thanks for hanging out today. Take care. Bye-bye. Come here, come here, sweet girl.